Hello, you're tuned into My Dad Says Audio. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Today we'll be uh, taking a look at the John Lindsley Hood 1969 uh, single-ended Class A transistor design. A bit of a classic. It's been reworked by Nelson Pass, who's a big fan of simple uh, transistor circuits. Uh, Dad, what can you tell us about the John Lindsley Hood? Uh, just that, that, as you sort of mentioned, it's a design from 1969. Uh, John Lindsley Hood, quite a remarkable gentleman, designed this in 1969. Supposedly gives you around about 10 watts per channel uh, Class A from uh, a transistor design. Uh, we here we we here actually like both good valve circuits and also with the transistor gear we tend to err towards high bias or class A designs. Um, this is sort of I guess you'd call my standby standby amplifier if you like when I'm. You know, at the moment we've got it plugged into my bedroom system to give it a bit of a try out. Um, I've upgraded quite a few bits and pieces in this. All all the electrolytic caps in here have been replaced. That's uh, Eleanor for audio. I took the opportunity also to uh, upgrade the amount of storage by about a third. Um, it uses a combination of uh, Eleanor Silmic caps there, 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 another one behind here, and also Nichicon, Nichicon uh, gold for the output cap, which is actually quite important. Uh, I've done a little bit of work to it, sounds really good, the part I find amusing is apparently now I'm a knob, because I listen to knob sound. Uh, the double meaning of that is not lost <laughs> Well, um, among amongst our comrades, a, a, no, a knob. If you call the knob, it's actually a bit of a compliment. It's saying you appreciate the finer things in life, uh, especially audio. So, but a lot of people I've heard, you know, are a bit, bit cringy about it. Like, oh, it's knob sound, you know. It's, but no, it's, I like it. I actually, I um, I bought one of these a couple years ago, and the the Chinese manufacturers very cheekily put a Krell badge on it, and I was like, oh, it always kind of irks me. So yeah, I'd, I'd rather be a knob, be yeah, a knob sound. Yeah, be, be a knob, exactly. Who doesn't want to be a knob? Uh, it's of interest also that uh, John Leslie Hood actually wrote three books that I know of uh, with regard to uh, uh, audio electronics and... Uh, I guess you could sort of say he carried on from William, Williamson's work with his valve amplifier, which I think is from the late 40s even. And uh, when transistor amps were first, first uh, introduced, I, I don't think there were any actual Class A designs. I think quite possibly John Lindsley Hood um, was the first one to actually make a decent design. The fact that this design still holds up today in terms of audio quality is quite remarkable. Uh, it's also interesting to note, as as my son mentioned, uh, that uh, Nelson Pass did a tribute amp to, um, to uh, John Lindsley's hood Design. He thought that much of uh, John Lindsley Hood. I think I think he actually got permission off of uh, John Lindsley Hood's uh, uh, wife to do that. Uh, and he actually, when you read the article, he said, "Oh, I've simplified it, but I, he says I may have gone even too far, and it might not be as good as the original." Yes, and 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 he also pays tribute in as much as a lot of his. Nelson Pass's first Watt designs mm. uh, have, I won't say the same, but similar sort of topologies. Nelson Pass tends to, of course, use 
uh, a lot more FETs, whereas this is a bipolar transistor design. Um, and not a hell of a lot more to say. It's it's he it was quite an interesting character. I've always uh, wanted one of uh, John Lindsley Hood's phono stages because I believe it's uh, a shunt phono stage is a little bit unusual in terms of there aren't that many of those sort of phono stages out there. Anyway, this is a quite a nice little amp. A lot of people will sort of say, "Oh, it sounds the same as uh, sounds the same as valve amps." It sounds it's it produces a sound that a valve listener would find familiar. Is how I would put it. Anyway, well, we thought you'd like to have a bit of a look at this. So that's about all I can think of to say about it at the moment. All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. If this is your bag, then consider liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing. Uh, that's it for today. Until next time, bye.